do the spins to prevent, you know, say, contracture. Sometimes they have to do it that way. That's what we call airplane spins. And now I find that it's expensive. It's around $1,000. Uh, but we can use it for both left and right. Because you can modify, because this one can change. The key thing is, you know, say you need the support from your pelvis because think about the arms, you know, say the weight of the arm is really, really heavy. So you need a good, you know, say bony support in order to relieve the weight. So when the time I put in Matthew, so maybe I just, you know, say focus on the Terrence, you can take it? Yep, taking. Sorry. So we're nicely strapped there. Yeah. I apologize, it may not be the perfect, perfect, you know, say anatomical positions because sometimes we have to adjust quite a bit to make sure it's good. And then this one we really have a few straps to make sure, you know, say the sprint is you know well positioned and well supported by the body. Okay, let's say we have your body frame, you know, well supported, and then, you know, the arm is here. Of course, you know, this one we can adjust to the right lane, but, you know, to save the time, I just like, you know, here's the, you know, adjustment, you can move, you know, say, you know, in order to fit you in the side. And then we can strap those stuff, same as here. This one we also can adjust, but I'm not going to do it now. The more important thing I want to show you is, in case if, you know, Matthew got problem, say, if, you know, he can only come here, and he cannot go any further, let's say because of the tightness. Okay. Let's say if, you know, it's from here, and our aim is starting from here, we gradually, you know, raise it up. So, Let's say if he's here first, we lock it, and then it's not going to move anymore, okay? Most of the time, if we aim it for that, if we're going to, you know, say, move it up, try not to, you know, say, bend the elbow. I'll keep the elbow extended because, you know, we want to have the full stretch. Otherwise, when the time you stretch this one, if this one bend, they shake. So you may not have the maximum stretch for this up. But of course, you know, this one, it depends though. They may not have all the door with the door with you know to let you move it. <laughs> so you have to compromise. Or maybe you have to teach the patient maybe walk this way. So it depends. So ideally that's the way, but you have to compromise. You know, say according to the environment limitations. So after that, say if 10, 15 minutes later, if we find it, yeah, it's not too bad. We want to adjust. So you just unlock it and go slowly to the way the patient can tell you, yeah, that's about it. And you don't have to go all the way to the maximum, because this one, I prefer you just go to, yeah, you know, I feel a little bit tightness, and compromise with the patient. Lock it again, that's the way to go. Okay, it's the same idea, you know, static progressive, we go for, you know, say, no more than an hour each time, three, four times an hour, uh, a day, okay?